Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again bringing you another Madden 15 Ultimate Team head-to-head -head seasons game. Guys, currently 6-2 and two on the season. I know it's been a long time since I've really uploaded a lot of head-to-head -head seasons. I kind of go in and out of phases on whether I'm enjoying it or not. And it kind of, I don't know, it doesn't even necessarily depend on how well I'm doing. It's more just like if I'm entertained by the game or not, which be honest with you it's been a little while since i've been super excited so this gameplay is a couple uh, maybe like two weeks old or something like that uh it's when i still had barry sanders so it's it's a couple weeks back oh, but baby. fairly entertaining anyway as my opponent there blitzed both of his safeties and we got that single coverage with calvin johnson got the face catch also got the broken tackle for a big gain and we are going to throw this one in the back of the end zone here julio jones for the opening drive touchdown looking pretty good on that first drive tony romo my quarterback in this game guys don't really keep him for very long i'll give you a quick spoiler on that because i don't know his attributes just weren't that exciting to me he was a little bit mobile more mobile than tom brady but not as mobile as aaron Rodgers. so i eventually do switch over to aaron Rodgers here in a couple of uh games but anyway uh in this game we are using that i believe it's uh the final edition tony romo if i remember correctly and the user pick gets dropped by Ronnie Lott. You've got to be kidding me. That was right to me. I baited his ass in and should have gotten that pick. But anyway, it's not that big of a deal. Third and 10, though, my opponent's going to complete one there. I believe that's to Amari Cooper, if I remember correctly. Number nine, trying to remember. I think it was Amari, Amari Cooper. But anyway, uh, completed pass there. Second and seven here. Oh, I thought I was going to get that pick there. Oh, and Eric Weddle swats that ball down. Gets it an incompletion on that play. And on this one here, he is going to gain a huge gain here. The screen pass to Chris Johnson jukes me as well. And he is down to the 20-yard line. So that dropped interception could potentially be costing us some points here as my opponent is now in the red zone. Runs out the rest of the first half or the first quarter, excuse me. Second and five now, and he's going to take a big sack there. Reggie White gets through and makes a nice play. Third and 11, and we're bringing more pressure here, and we do get him, him again. I believe that was Joe Hayden that time that ended up getting that sack. So fourth and 13, my opponent decided to kick the field goal. Seven to three, not feeling too great about that because I really should have had that pick, but at the same time, happy to have stopped him at least to a field goal. That's kind of in Madden for the most part this year. If, if you go ahead and you hold the team to a field goal, you can usually do pretty well. And I am going to go for it here on a fourth down, a questionable play, but I just felt like my opponent's defense was not really set up to stop me there. And I looked pretty good there completing that one for an easy completion. Barry Sanders now on a little sw swing pass there out of the backfield, picking up another first down. And we're going to go to the run here, the counter run. Barry Sanders right up the middle. We take it kind of a little bit different route than what the play looks like it should go, but still a nice gain there. And on this one, I don't know what my opponent was doing. It was almost like a prevent defense there with 45 seconds left still on the clock. So it left pretty much every single pass underneath wide open decided to go to Ditka there for a nice completion second and four now after that Barry Sanders run we're going back to the counter picking up the first down here the defense that my opponent was running was allowing me to cut it inside on almost every single one of those counter runs which was gaining me at least six yards every time so that's why I kept going to that third and ten we nearly threw a pick there that was a really really bad decision and we ended up then taking a field goal on this drive with about five seconds left in the first half. So it was not a bad first half for me. We end up seven points in the lead here to start the second half, but my opponent does get the ball and the first play out of the second half. Jack Ham baits him in and gets the pick six. Massive play. And look at that celebration. I'm sure Jack Ham did that all the time back in his day when he used to play, right? Yeah. The animations are a little weird in this game. I think players should have a little bit more predetermined um, animations on what they do for scores and sacks and, you know, various different things like that. I know a few players do, but not everybody. So I wish that they would change that a little bit. That would be nice, for, especially for the legends, to get some more unique celebrations or just like more traditional celebrations, I guess, like spiking the ball or something like that. But anyway, we'll get back into the gameplay here. First and 10 here, about three minutes left in the half, and my opponent is going to run a screen pass here. The game is totally lagging. This is not your video. I was actually seeing this on my screen while it happened, and I just thought for some reason that he was going to break it for a touchdown. Thankfully, though, we do end up coming up with the tackle there, uh, and it comes back to not being really laggy. So, I don't know. It was just one play or something that was super, super laggy, and look at that grab. Oh, my goodness. Marcus Mariota throwing a dipping dot there for a big completion, and then he throws the touchdown on the next play. So... 
Again, guys, we're in a tough situation and a long drive there by my opponent. I'm going to throw this one up into coverage. A very poor decision in his safety. I believe, I think that might be Eric Weddle, comes down with the interception. So, guys, we went from being up a touchdown to now we're in a bad situation. And he has taken off with Chris Johnson for a huge run. He could potentially tie this game right here, right now. We were up multiple scores at one point. Yeah, it's not looking very good right now, but oh man, we nearly, nearly forced a fumble on that one. Second and 10 here, and look at Ronnie Lott here. We're trying to bait him in, trying to bait him in. He's going across the field. I see it coming, and we get the user pick dropped again. No. No. How do you do that to me, EA? How? And look at the protection that my opponent has here on this drive. Look at that protection. He is finally going to find a wide open receiver over the middle of the field again. Another big gain, and again, he is into the end zone, tying this game up 17-7. to Man, how frustrating. How frustrating that we just can't get those user picks. But anyway, we're back on offense. Barry Sanders still doing work here. We're still getting a good amount of yardage pretty much per carry, about five to six yards. And with the 24-hour Barry Sanders, which is what I'm using in this game, uh, we're just trying to get him the ball. Because uh, I'm not really too worried about him fumbling. I feel like we're in a really good situation. And if you see my opponent's defense there, he started to stack it to the opposite side because I was just killing him with that counter run. I don't know. He just kept running the same play. So I'm just going to keep running what works against it, right? And it's hard to really blame me in that type of a situation as we take a brutal sack here. I don't know. I just I, I couldn't find anybody open on that play on second or on uh, first down. Setting up now a second and 16. And again, trying to feed Barry Sanders. That time he saw it coming, though. And we ended up having to punt on that drive. But it was a nice punt. Got it down to the three-yard line. And I'm expecting here that my opponent's going to do something kind of weird. And we ended up actually committing on the quarterback. And we hit him in the backfield in the end zone for a safety. So that means we gain two points and we get the ball back. And look at Barry Sanders, ladies and gentlemen. He is gone for a touchdown. A huge Huge play there, back-to-back -back massive plays with the safety and then the touchdown. So, guys, we are in a very, very good situation here as my opponent throws a beautiful pass there. I can't even lie. But he's got less than two minutes left. He's down multiple scores. So he's going to not only need to score a touchdown on this drive, but also score on the next drive if he wants to try and win this game. So he does complete a pass there, and he's just looking to gain short yardage here, it looked like to me, and try and get out of bounds. And what he decided to do is actually something that the more that I thought about it, it made more sense. I was kind of confused at first, but he decides to kick a field goal here from the 30 yard line. And then what he wanted to do was try and get this onside kick because he knew he was going to have to do it either way. So he thought I would take the guaranteed points and then go for the onside kick. Unfortunately for him, we do recover the onside kick and then we gain this big run here up the middle with Barry Sanders, getting it down to about the 20 yard line or so. And my opponent decided to call a timeout after every, uh, I actually did a kneel after each one. I don't know why he called a timeout after each one. So that's why I was a little bit frustrated. And I decided then to go ahead and kick the field goal against him. So understand that I wasn't trying to run up the score, but he was kind of being a dick for going for it or for uh, calling the timeouts there when I was just trying to run off the clock. So you know how it is. I, I, I got to give him a little bit of a, a kick in the ass for that. So we do walk away with the win though. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please be sure to hit the like button. If you would, I would greatly appreciate it. It does help out this channel. Let me know if you guys want to see more head-to-head -head seasons gameplay or what, because I don't know. Sometimes I have fun doing it. I, I tend to do better in head-to-head -head seasons than I do on pink slips, and I think a lot of that comes from the fact that I'm not trying to respond to, you know, the people in the chat, and also I'm playing against people that don't watch my gameplay every single day. So that gives me a little bit of an advantage anyway. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and I will talk to you guys again soon.